Thank you for doing this, Dr. Quinn. And as I've said to you many times already, and I'll keep saying, thank you so much for all the care and support that you gave me as your patient. But now it's my turn to have you in my chair. Um, let's talk about the work that you do as a clinician scientist. First of all, what does that even mean? Uh, it means it's a busy work day. <laughs> and it's a combination of patient care and looking after people who need help, uh, and then observing the things that they need help with taking those observations back to our research lab and trying to find ways to make it better. So tell me about what you see in long COVID sufferers mm. um, that is driving your passion for research. I think the, the most important thing that I see is related to their suffering that is a consequence of all of the different symptoms that they experience. But that suffering turns into a type of grieving that they've lost who they are. Uh, they've lost their identity. Tell me about the hope that you have for the initiatives that are underway at Sinai and the work that you're doing. Well, I'm part of a national research network. All of the experts in long COVID in Canada have come together to try to make things better. And our vision is a world without long COVID. That's going to take time and a ton of effort, including research. Um, but we're a, a large network and there's a lot of incredibly smart and dedicated people working towards that. And that's what I'd like to see in the long term. In the short term, I think we, would, we need some breakthroughs. We need to find that treatment that's just, just beyond our reach right now that will really make a difference in people's lives and a lot of people's lives to get them somewhere better than they are right now. Um, I'm sure the challenges, certainly to get to those breakthroughs, call for funding. Tell me about how Sinai Health uniquely supports the work that you do. The clinical trial is the engine of discovery for new treatments. It's how we figure out whether new treatments work or not, and then they get rolled into practice. The average clinical trial costs between 10 to $100 million to run. They're not a cheap endeavor. Um, and the, the fuel of that clinical trial are the people that we work with, our research coordinators who are highly skilled and highly trained individuals. And we invest a lot of our time and effort in training them. And our granting agencies, where we get a lot of our research funding from, are just not able to support that scale of the research costs. The Sinai Foundation has expressed their overwhelming support to help us try to fill in those funding gaps mm. to accelerate these discoveries and make things better for our patients with long COVID. So the donors who are supporting our efforts, they're like our, not only are they the fuel, not only they actually make it possible because without funding, none of it is possible. They're also like our, our fan base or our cheerleaders, if you like, because there's nothing more rewarding as a researcher who's struggling to improve things when somebody says, I worked hard for this dollar and I'm going to donate that to you because I believe in what you're doing. So when you um, have people like me coming through your, you know, this, the reclaim trial, we take part in that and explain to me the, the, how that clinician scientist um, kind of model works. What do you do with the, in, in addition to helping people potentially feel better because as they go through the trial, what do you do with all the data and the information mm -hmm. and the research that you gather from that overall trial? My job as a clinician, as a physician, is to make that patient in front of me better to the best of my ability. That's my priority and that's my responsibility. As a researcher, though, we take what we learn from our patients, including the things that need to be fixed, and we bring that back to our research lab. And in doing so, our goals there are not just to help our single patient, but it's to help all of Sinai's patients or all of Toronto's patients with long COVID. And ultimately, the clinical trial, the results of that go beyond our local sphere. They help all Canadians. They help the entire world in some cases. And that's really what the research is all about and how it connects back to the patient that is sitting in front of us. 
Dr. Quinn, thank you. The work you're doing is, um, I can say f with firsthand knowledge, is really, really important. So thank you for that, and thank you for telling more people about it today. Well, thanks for this discussion, Jill, and always nice to see you feeling so much better than when we first met. Yeah, I can say that again.